Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to Transcendence, we'll be going over their full length of Blood Harvest Records towards Obscurities Beyond. And if you didn't know who Transcendence was, well, War are, then you missed the hour of summoning. So good. There's some heavy death metal. I love the Adam Burke artwork. And this was written between uh, 2016 and 27, uh, 2018. I apologize. Killer artwork. And just, in my opinion, a very underrated death metal band. And I was able to finally get a copy of the full length on cassette so I could go over it with you maniacs. But when this bad boy first came out, Hour of the Summoning. I was obsessed with this. It was just, it was so good in every way. And another Blood Harvest release. Killer, killer shit. Like, there's a lot of, like, Swedish sounding riffs, but, like, they make it, like, kick ass, like, it's hard to explain, like, it's the opposite of what you expect when you hear, like, oh, like, you know, it kind of sounds like Swedish death metal a little bit, like, it's hard to explain, it's more like, I guess at the gate C, but, like, The vocals just make it stand out. But nowadays, like, nobody really fucks with At The Gates. So it's cool hearing, like, you know, stuff that's like, whoa, that sounds like At The Gates. Like, Terminal Spirit and shit. Like, and then, uh, obviously Slaughter the Soul, but at the end of the day, it's sounds like Transcendence, because like I said, I really was like obsessed with this demo, or EP, I'm not sure what the band considers it, all I know is it fucking rules, but uh, this actually has the uh, band members' name where they have stage names on the full length. We have Goat Warrior on drums, Curse on bass, Omen on guitars, Phantasm on guitars, and Future Faction Tomb on vocals. So, unless there was a lineup change, it's Tom Patmore on vocals, Miguel Perez on guitars, Michael Alvarez on guitars, Chris Gonzalez on bass, and Richard Guerrero on drums. Again, I'm not, I'm not real sure. But it, it's a fun album, I think. It's catchy, and it's not too melodic. It's like a really heavier, less technical version of like Arsis at times but still keeping, like, just this heavy, like, Swedish, but, like, still kind of Finnish, like, death metal sound. And it's just very straightforward, yet enjoyable. I, I like it, you know. It, it's just towards obscurities beyond. It, it's a good album. Now, great, is it on a Master Killer level? I mean, it's 
Master Killer. That, that's all on its own level. But, like, it's got some really cool, like, guitar parts, and, like, I, I like the solos, but, like, the riffs are really good, but the vocals, to me, are the main, like, standout, as well as the drum production is really just, like, off point. Like, it's not, it's just, like, perfect, like, in the mix for death metal. Like, it's not too, like, tight. It's not too piggy. It's, like, just what you want from death metal drums. But, like, they don't sound, like, sterile. It's very organic sounding, but not too organic. It's right where you want to be. It's that sweet spot. And I'm pretty sure this is available on vinyl as well, which is awesome. But Nightmare Illustration, Adam Burke, he always has amazing artwork. You gotta love a good vomit. This art's great, too, on the inside. I want to see the vinyl just for the artwork, honestly. The art's amazing. Inner artwork by Alyssa. So, what we have here is, wait a minute, and I'm trying to figure out real fast, is one side called Dark Side? Alright, so we have Side Dark Side and Side Soul Side. So, one second. That's why I mean, like, these riffs are, like, they're real catchy, and like I said, it's very straightforward. It's nothing, like, unexpected. And like I said, the vocals are sick as fuck. But, like, parts like this are, like, cool as hell. I, I like this stuff. That's a cool thing. I, I like that. Yeah, side dark side and side soul side. That's kind of cool. I, I like the straightforward cape cosmetics. I like the Blood Harvest logo, though. I always like when their capes have the logo on it, but it's cool. But I'm also stoked they like, stuck with their logo as well. I like when bands have like the same logo. I know that's stupid, but, like, I really do. It's just something I, I just like. I don't know. It just makes a band more, like, familiar. And, like, they have, like, an identity, you know? Like, you can tell who they are based on their logo. I like that. And, like, I was listening to Hour of the Summoning earlier as well, and... I just, again, like, that cover is so fucking cool and just, like, lets you know what you're in for, where this is, like, again, like I said, very straightforward but enjoyable. Like, this is more just, like, heavy and just really, really sick. But this is just a good death metal record. Towards Obscurity Beyond by Transcendence, like... If somebody was just getting into death metal, this would be a great way to get them involved and interested. It's one of those, like, I wouldn't say modern morbid angels, but, like, you know, like, when I was younger, it was always like, hey, check out morbid angel. Like, it was just real easy to check out morbid angel. 
and they were a little bit, you know, like more digestible than some of the more like gnarly bands that maybe at the time like just went a little bit over my head as like a kid. Cause like I first heard Morbid Angel in like 1992, so like I, I was in like second grade, so like. I just knew it was cool. I was like, all right, this is way better than Megadeth. Like, it just was. And, like, I just knew it. And then, like, once I, like, a friend of mine, like, I had a dubbed copy, but my a friend of mine, his brother had the actual cassette, and he brought it into school. And I remember reading the lyrics and being like, Oh, like, this is evil as shit. And I was, like, obsessed with the movie The Gate at the time. And, like, I legit, like, thought this album was, like, I was, like, maybe this album was, like, what they based The Gate on. Like, not knowing that technically they would have had to listen to Abominations of Desolation, not Altars of Madness, because Altars of Madness didn't exist yet. But technically, Abominations of Desolation did exist before 1987. So, I don't know. It's one of those things I think about sometimes. Like, did the writers of The Gate listen to Morbid Angel? Or did they just, like, listen to, like, Bathory and, like, shit like that? Because, like, the kid Terrence definitely has an Iron Maiden poster, a Venom poster... He's got a Killer Dwarves back patch. Like, he's all, like, metaled out, but... Transcendence, like I said, if you're looking for some just killer, straightforward death metal, if you're a fan of, like, later Cannibal Corpse, I, I think you'll really like this. Towards Obscurities Beyond on Blood Harvest Records. And again, Side Darkness has Infernal Resurrection, Majesty of Chaos, Towards Obscurity is Beyond as the Maggot's Feast. On Side Soul Side, we have Drowned Screams of the Departed Souls and Darkness Shall Be, Ravens of the Burial, and the Silent Procession. This is very easy to get into, and also it's a little bit heavier. So, it's just one of those releases that's very just easy to get into. And if you've never heard death metal before, or are just looking for something a little bit more... Like, maybe you're not into just the, like, dun, 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 you know, like, and you want something a little bit more, like... I'm not gonna say technical, cause, like, but just a little more catchy than... Yeah, Transcendence has you covered with Towards Obscurities Beyond. And also check out the Hour of Summoning EP demo. I'm not sure, but if you're going to grab, just if you if possible, grab both of these if you're interested. Links will be in the video description because it's good. It's good shit. But thanks again to Transcendence for making today's video possible. And thank you for watching. You fucking rule. Hails.